morning everyone welcome back to day nine of vlogmas um i am currently ready to go for a run i'm actually gonna force myself out of bed this morning and head out but it's raining outside so i don't know how long i'm gonna do i kind of wish i had like a gopro so you could come on my runs with me but i don't know how else i can actually bring you along i might do a tiktok and then like convert it but other than that i am just gonna head out for a run today and i just thought i'm not really doing anything that exciting today um i have got a day off but i still gotta go to uni and all that good stuff so but we could just spend the day together i cannot get over how disgusting it is in the mornings at the minute it's making it so hard to get up and i've also lost my airpods they're in my room somewhere but i cannot find them for the living day and i really need to get this run done kind of out of the way so i can get back and get ready and get sorted for the day because i've got a ton of uni work to do i have a ton of editing to do um before i'm back at work all weekend so first task of the day wonder how long i'll do i don't even know if i can run like i've not ran for two days and i feel like i'm gonna be like a slug but we'll see well we did it gang i actually ran four and a half miles this morning um my hat was on so i might ignore my hair i'm about to get in the shower massive well, I keep saying it's a massive part, it's not. I'm gonna net this because, God, I need it. God, that fly is still here. I bet you're sick of me saying this, like, fuck off. Look, oh. Look. Like, why can't you just go out? Are you that thick? Absolutely disgusting. Probably not gonna wash it because I'm gonna have like a slick back look today, I think. Um, keep it out of my face. Do you know what it's like living in a goldfish here? People can definitely see me holding my camera up. Look. Oh god. <laughs> so funny. Um, oh my god, I'm sweating so bad. But yeah, it felt good, you know, but I just wish I could get up earlier and do it because you get interrupted so much on rush hour traffic, like cars, kids, going to school, people going to work, there's just so many people about. And luckily I'm not bothered. I know some people are not confident in running like through like cities and stuff and like seeing people um so yeah it wouldn't really be ideal if that was your situation but luckily i just don't give a shit to be honest i've got my hat on no one can see me no one no one knows me in the city it's a bit different when i'm running in rougey because i'm just like oh god someone's definitely seen me running now so i've just uploaded um vlogmas 8 and i just got that edited and uploaded to youtube so that's scheduled for later on um i'm actually going to head off to the coffee shop now because i need to get some work done and i just work a little bit better in there with a nice coffee um little outfit of the day here i'm fully loving it i've just got some leggings on and then i've laid it with amy's like leather jacket underneath a black hoodie and then obviously my favorite coat which is from h&m obviously like my favorite little bag but yeah i thought i'd better make an outfit um an effort with my outfit today oh i've also got my uggs on i've literally not stopped wearing these but i thought i'd better make a bit of an effort because i'm going to go christmas shopping because i've got so many presents to buy it's not even funny but let's go to the coffee shop and get some uni work done Honestly, sometimes I'm just thinking I can't wait for student life to be over. But then at the same time, it's just a love-hate relationship, really. This is my current location. I've got myself a cappuccino. I've gone for something different this time. But the man kindly gives me a chocolate to go with it. Quite naughty. But yeah, I've not had a cappuccino in so long. And I feel like they're so much cheaper than getting a normal coffee. Like, this is only £3 and it's absolutely huge. It'll probably be cold by the time I actually finish it. So I've just had the biggest fail in there. Went into Costa to do my work. Wi-Fi, not working, which is fun. Um, and then what else happened, something else happened. So, oh yeah, so I've had to start typing all my notes on my iPhone. And now my vision has gone so bad, like ridiculously bad, um, that I'm now having to go to Home Bargains because I left my glasses back in Rugeley so now I'm going to get some reading glasses because I can't see what I'm doing so I've had a pointless trip to Costa it's not even funny I've got so much to work to do I literally can't afford to just waste time having a coffee it's um an hour early before my session at uni but I'm just going to see if I can connect to the wi-fi here and get a bit of work done also I may have done a little bit of damage in um home bargains but 
em just texted me saying that she got a first in one of her assignments and i just think like how the fuck does that girl work full time and manage to achieve that that's just crazy so i i just want her to know that you know like she's doing so well and like i don't know i just feel like she's actually doing sick um like trying to do a master's like i do part-time in a master's and i struggle like fuck um so working full-time and doing that sort of shit i think is just crazy so i've picked her a ton of things up and i'm going to do her a little basket so when she gets back from work later on she's going for some christmas drinks after work so she won't be back till a bit later but she can have that that's going to be on our bed i've just got her so many bits but i'll show you when i get back um but yeah i just feel like em if you're watching this and i'm proud of you gal very proud because i just feel like wow smashing it um anyway i'm gonna see if i can get onto the wi-fi <sighs> stay tuned like it just does not want me to do uni work today does it at all right i don't know what the password is though update these are the glasses i have to buy because i can't really see and i still got the thing on them i like harry potter i like harry potter i'm having to type notes on my phone because it's giving me too much anxiety just wasting time so here i am my laptop's not working um it won't connect to the wi-fi here either so i just feel like there's probably an issue with this laptop i don't know why it only seems to be working at home so that's fun um but yeah, I'm doing okay, it's fine. I'm just cop not copying and pasting, but copying and pasting and putting it into my own worlds. Um, and I've got 45 minutes. So if I just do this section, that's going to make me feel a bit better. And then I can do another section when I get home. Then we're going food shopping, baby. I feel like I'm going to do a video of only eating Christmas food for 24 hours. So I feel like I need to have a look for Christmas items. So yeah, I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to vlog it. Some man is looking at me very weirdly talking to my camera, but you know, it is, you know, it's 2021. Everyone talks to the camera nowadays. Right, the lighting was so bad from before. I've just got back. It's absolutely tipping it down out there, but I just wanna show you what I've got. I'm gonna have to quickly do it because I feel like she's, well, she's not going for work drinks anymore, so she's gonna be back earlier than I thought, but I still got time. So. I'll show you what I got. I also need to find a pen to write the car on. But first thing, these little baskets are in home bargains for and they've even got a little Merry Christmas tag on, that's so cute. Um we could definitely reuse this again after she's had all of her stuff out of it. But these are only two pounds I think, one ninety nine or two ninety nine, which I think are really good. So first thing I've got these are in home bargains and i don't want to really take it out of the packaging but it's like a salter oh what are these called like a crystal tea light holder um they're called something i think salter lamps maybe anyway that was the first thing i did pick up but got her some body wash um disco fever sugar berries and moon dust also good for the bath so we can pop that in there next thing i picked up was a makeup hair band because well she's a makeup artist and well who doesn't need one of these to be honest um i need to think how i'm gonna pack it she keeps going on about makeup brushes so i've grabbed out some of these these were the katie hair ones these were five pounds i believe which i think is quite good it's like just face brushes so i'll pop those in there for her as well I don't know how to do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay, yeah, that's fine. And then I've also got the same brand, but makeup flannels, which I'm sorry, I'm definitely pinching one of these because I need a new um, cloth. Mine's literally had it. Oh my god, this is just not gonna fit in, is it? Oh, shit. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Maybe we might get into one. Oh my god, this is so not gonna fit in. I just, I just go OTT. I don't know why I bought so much. Anyway, oh no, it'd be fine. Got her a little sleep mask because she definitely needs a sleep. So we can pop that in there. Headband there, would we say? Some deodorant because whoever, we all need a unlimited supply of deodorant. Then these little grips, because she always rubs mine. Pop those in there. Um, and then I've got her, we need to put the lamp in. 
little tea light there or there i don't know or maybe i can put that down there oh yeah put that there and then these can balance on top then oh lovely lovely that's what we want and then a little gingerbread bread bath bomb because she loves having baths and she always has a bath when she's a bit stressed then of course got her a face mask which i absolutely love it says rest in beach face <laughs> love that she's definitely got a rest in beach face then i seen these we love terry chocolate orange but they bought the biscuit version out of them and i just thought oh yeah pop those in there as well and then i just need to i just got her a little card that just says just to say so i'll write that out oh yeah we love that do you think that looks so cute a little hamper she's going to be buzzing when she comes in from work um and then i'll just write this card out i don't know what to put in the card that's all done so let's go pop it in her room you um do i to pull it what do we think oh it's so cute i think she's going to be really impressed i think she's going to be really happy to be honest she's dead appreciative of like little things um so yeah i'm pretty sure that i'm cheer her day up as i know she does get really stressed with like balancing uni and all that good stuff but i am absolutely starving I'm gonna have another wee chocolate you know what right quality streets come home love quality streets and M's at all the green ones. Absolute bitch. I'm gonna put some toast in because I thought I was gonna just pass out in my lecture then. Oh my god. I feel like this flat is always messy. I don't know, I'm kind of Full got went in. I'm gonna have some toast and then I'm gonna upload a kid onto Instagram. I have two slices. Can you believe? Are you even normal if you just don't like toast and lure pack where you literally can't go wrong, can you? Guys, it's that cold in this flat. I'm going to have to take them off now. This is making me look stupid. I'm going to have a bath because... Do you know what? I feel like I'm in the bath, but then I feel like when I get out, it's going to be 10 times colder, isn't it? So we're not actually going to go food shopping anymore because, well, one, it's freezing. Two, it's pissing down. And three... We're both going out this weekend, Friday and Saturday. I know, I can't afford it, but here we are. Um, and I'm just thinking, is it really sustainable doing a food shop when we're not really going to be eating because we're both out? Not really. So we might as well go Sunday morning or Monday night. Um, we have stuff in, but I'm really regretting my decision now because I've just had two slices of bread. No, I had three. I had toast, which I told you all about, but... I really fancy a toasty now. Have we got a toasty maker? Damn! I can't have five pieces of bread today. Can I? No, that's so bad. Oh my god, I can't do that. Oh my god, the size of my house. This is what my night is looking like. I'm a bit hungry still, so I don't know if that's a bit weird. I've never really ate in the bath, but I just fancy some Doritos and just being warm and just yeah whatever and also I'm getting cramps in my belly so that's probably why I'm fancying Doritos maybe I'm coming on um I hope so anyway but oh yeah I'm gonna get in the bath now and I FaceTime Connor um and see what he's up to um but yeah this is pretty much my night I don't know what I'm gonna do when I get out I've just changed all my bed so let me just show you I've just made this all fresh and cosy for when I get out um, and then I'm definitely going to be getting in my UD tonight. Oh my god, I need to tan. That's what I'm doing. I need to tan. Oh, I've just changed my sheets and I'm tanning. Why have I done that? I can't believe I've just wasted all that effort to probably have to change my sheets again in a few days. That's just great. Also, just want to know how cold this flat is. A happy winter. She's a little bit more bronzed, isn't she? Um, I used this one. So I used the BB Bold one. Um, I did manage to find some tan. And 
yeah i absolutely love this i've been using it for quite a while and basically i got a message and yeah basically it smells like raspberries um but yeah i quite like this one when i want to just keep topping it up all weekend i just feel like it gives you a nice glow and I don't really need to go full tan tan because I'm quite covered up for the weekend. So long as I've just got a bit of a glow to me, oh my god, um, then I'm not bothered. But I don't know what to have for dinner. Um, I am thinking about having a toasty because now I've said it, so do I. How do we even make a toasty? I don't know what to have. Or oh, I've had three slices of toast today. Don't just have hot chocolate. Oh, no, I don't know. Fancy food. Oh, fancy food. What do I have? What do I have? Help me. Christmas market mug because we have four. There's one in my room as well. Who needs that many? Oh, do you know what? I'm doing it. Man, the toaster. How do we even make a toaster? I don't know how to make one. Not me TikToking it. Just get your ham, cheese on it. Make sure it's head up. Make sure the butter is on the outside so you're getting that crisp. Outside. It feels like it feels like Friday. I've got the Friday feeling. I'm so excited to go out tomorrow and Saturday. There we go, I've got myself a peppermint tea because I feel like I'm going to be really bloated in the morning with all this bread but I've not had a toasty in so long and oh my god if you could just see the cheese I don't know if you can but oh, stop, oh, look at that cheese, oh my god I mean now it's for the real test though isn't it, you've got to try it, there's no point, oh my god just such an angle, okay, there we go Oh my, it's going to be really hot, let me try and get a bit off Wow, I should put like a bit more bougie, but I'm really lazy. Mm. Oh, that was desirable. Oh my god, I'm gonna sit and enjoy the rest of this. Yum. Oh, so I went to uni today, right? And it was my last lecture until the new year. Wow. I've got one next week for another unit, but then that's it. But what the hell? Where's it gone? All my January deadlines are going to be come flowing in. Like, I really should not be going out at the weekend at all because realistically, I should be revising and doing all that good stuff because I have an exam in January as well. But it's Christmas. My tutor went to me. Oh, you should definitely take a week off in Christmas. And I was like, hun, are you joking? How can I take a week off when I've got a million deadlines like that's not gonna happen is it i've booked a warehouse project because i really wanted to get one in before it closes and basically it fell on my two days off like how lucky is that like i work five days a week but part-time so only four hours a day but oh <laughs> do you know what when the spotify stops i feel like because basically the Spotify is M's and I can't log mine in. So when M goes to work, she puts her headphones in or when she walks back from work, um, the, the it goes off because obviously she's listening to music and I just thought, oh, maybe she's walking home. Do you know what? It's nine o'clock. It's a good job we didn't go food shopping, but whatever. Um, she's still not home. She's having the best life. I'm actually quite jealous, but I'm glad tomorrow. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, warehouse project dead weird so we ended up going some of our friends invited us and we were like mm, yeah okay and then i was like mm, it was sold out and dead weirdly i thought oh on the off chance i'll put it on my story if anyone's selling a ticket and like one of the one of my friends actually messaged me and was like oh yeah i'm selling too um because i'm not going with my boyfriend anymore broke up and i was like <laughs> relatable anyway we should have just gone together to be fair i should have said that to her but anyway <laughs> um 
So I bought tickets off her, like of the off chance, and then I looked at my work shift and I'm off on the 27th and the 28th and the raise on the 27th. Boars saying, can't wait. So I need an outfit. I don't know what to wear. I hate rave outfits. Anyone else like that? I hate rave outfits. I hate trying to find something to wear for a rave because I'm not that girl who like goes and I can't explain it. I'm just not that girl. I think it's just gonna have to be cargoes for me. Do you know what I mean? I wore some really cool army cargoes last time. But I can't wear them, them again. But maybe I could just swap outfits with M and she could wear that. Or I might just buy a new outfit. Oh my god, I don't know. Maybe she gets some leather. Oh shit. And you wear them once and then that's it, innit? Oh shit. Might have bought this one through. And then not even about the rave what am i wearing christmas day like what is everyone wearing christmas day i've got something in my mind but it's sold out everywhere so we love that i don't know what i'm gonna wear unreal already though i can feel it not sitting very well in my stomach i don't have the best tolerance to dairy is cheese dairy it is, isn't it? But eggs are not dairy, are they? And I, that baffles me. I thought they were. It's gone. If I hadn't already had five pieces of bread today, I'd probably go have another one. Um, but I'm defo using that toasty maker more because why the hell not? I'm not used to that in ages. Toasty, you just can't go wrong, can you? So before I go, before I wrap this video up, I my, my hair's not um, as sleek anymore. But my hair, and this is for like all the girls there who want to get that sleek look. My hair is the worst for like, you can see all that bit, like frizzy. It's, that, it's like that now, so I've been in the shower. But it was dead sleek before. Obviously you could tell from the, cli the clips. Um, and do you know what? Nothing used to, nothing could do it. Like any brush, nothing. I tried everything and honestly I'd have to get a toothbrush and put the most shittiest stuff in my hair and scrape it to get it. And even then it still would just like... I, like ping out it was so annoying anyway M has got this brush from I don't even know where it's from it's got that on the paddle though anyway this is the brush you need oh my god when I say it smooths your hair out like hold on let's just do like a little like should we see that like say this bit Hold on. Now it's like so much better. It's not like out. Whereas before it was just like sticking out here. And we've got this here. Honestly, I can't tell you how amazing this brush is. Obviously, I'm doing it really rough now. But you get my gist. It proper smooths it out and makes dead sleep. So, if you're like me and you've got frizzy hair and crappy little baby hair everywhere. You need to go onto this brush. This will be your lifesaver. <laughs> it definitely is mine and M's. So I'm going to wrap it up now so I can get it edited and up for tomorrow. I've literally got so much editing to do. It's unreal. But there's nothing I love more, to be honest, than sitting in bed and editing. I find it so therapeutic. But thank you so much if you're still here and you stuck it out to the end. I appreciate you and I love you all so much who watch my videos. And I'll see you very, very soon for a brand new Vlogmas. Bye.